flux cord wires. There's flux cord with gas and without gas, depending on what you do. If it's with gas, it's typically, according to the program in here, a C25 or 75-25 mixture. Your flow rate would be between 40 and 50. Um, you set your gas tank up, make sure all the hoses are connected properly. If it's a gasless wire, forget about that. If you use eight inch spools, use the adapter, install the adapter, install the wire. This is a friction fit. Make sure it's snug. Make sure you're, you have a little bit tension on the wire brake, not too much. For the drive roll, you use a knurled drive roller. This one here is labeled 10R and 12R. You, you want the side 10R facing you. That is for 035 diameter. If you run 045 diameter, you want 1.2R facing you. Install the drive roll retaining nut. Feed the wire through. Your drive roll pressure should be right around two. There's teeth, the neural drive roller kind of has teeth in it that bite into the wire. You can actually see marks on the wire later on as it feeds through, as it comes out. So you don't need too much pressure. If you own a ProPulse 200, there's a polarity reversal on the inside of the machine here where you have to change your polarity whether you use wire with gas or without gas. The ProPulse 220 MTS has the polarity reversal on the outside. You plug this pigtail either in the positive or in the negative port in order to choose if you want to weld with gas or without gas.